How are we doing guys? Myself, Chris Preddy, OBE here and you have a quick one. Real Talk True Season. This is the reasons why I broke down stop and search. There's stop and search on the ways that the, the police should be stop and searching you. The police are telling this guy to shut up and I'll do whatever I like and all the rest of it. And then you've got the guy that's shouting, answering back. Oh, whatever. Do your job. Do your job. I feel like there's ways that the police could have been better in the situation and there's things that the guy could have done better in the situation too. But first, I'm going to allow you guys to see this. Take a look at this. For my life, they're harassing me. I'm on the way to get a haircut. He came out with a taser. He didn't try to explain anything. What is this all about? What is this all about? What is this all about? What? Then explain some shit. We have had a report. Film it all, by the way. Yeah, no. Come closer. Film it. I am. I am. So I want the camera anyway. Come on. So you can post it on social media. I will. I'll put it on my social media. It's the fucking shit that happens in Bush. Go on. Wait, 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 yeah, go on. I, I want to film it, so I want to yeah, hear what exactly what his bullshit is. Go on. You done? Go on. You done? Film it. Talk about right, what you're saying. Mate, listen to us. We have a report it. of a male matching your description. Yes. Matching my description. Describe my description. Shut up and listen. Describe. No, don't tell me shut. You're a public servant. Speak to me with I'm not respect. Sir. That's who you are. Sir. You're a public servant. Sir. Speak you to me with respect. You might have a knife Because you've got a mistake. That is our report. You've made a mistake. So Hopefully, speak with me with respect. Talk respectfully to me. Don't ever tell me shut up again, you public servant. Right. Well, don't talk over me and don't call me servant. Have some respect. Sir, you have some respect. I don't have to give you any respect. You're the public servant. You want to speak to me? Do you want to speak to me? Yeah, you the one okay. who fucking pulled the taser okay, so out. Explain some shit. What's going on well, here? Let me explain to you then. Talk. Okay, so we've had a report of three males in that park with knives. Okay? Am I with two other fucking listen, black males? Listen, one of the males is described as six foot tall, black, with a black puffer jacket walking from that park. Is this a road. fucking puffer jacket that to you? A puffer jacket. You fucking okay. Continue. So you are continue. detained on the section one of pace, okay? Because mm -hmm. I'm looking for a knife. I believe you may have a knife on you. If you haven't, and you're the wrong person, fine. But we have the grounds to stop you, and the reason we stopped you the way we did, and the reason I pulled Taser on you, is because if you've got a knife on you and you're walking towards me, I don't want to get stabbed, all right? So me putting two red dots on your chest and getting you to stop and do as you're told is more, is better than any of us fighting each other. So that's the right, so that's the all right, right. All right. So action. that is why you randomly stop someone and start, it's not random. start with a fucking Taser. It's not random, we've got information. All right. Do I look like a fucking criminal to you? I didn't I say a that. Fucking did I? normal job. I had information that you had an eye on you. Okay. Fucking moron. Do your fucking number one. You, you ain't got no okay. right to search your camera. Do I, uh, your you're fucking detained. search. Detained Hurry the, the fuck up. Do your search and then apologize like the fucking man that you say you are. Hurry up. Hurry up. Do your search I'm and then apologize. Until you calm down. Okay. Okay. We'll stay here. We'll stay here. Until you calm down. We are your church. What do you mean calm down? Who, how the fuck? How the fuck do you think I'm meant to react to two motherfuckers jumping out of a van, aiming a taser at me, shouting out, "Don't move, or we're going to shoot you." How do you how do you how do you expect me to react? We didn't say that. Because they saw it on camera. Hurry the fuck up. So I'm how do I know? I'm panicking. Do you know why? Because not every day I have two people jumping out of a car, aiming a taser at me, aiming a taser, aiming. A taser at me. What do you mean? So what? The taser just there. You're not going right, to okay. shoot me. Like what said, was? You, why were like the red dots on my chest? Like I said, you shoot me. Like I said, yeah. you're detained. Okay, my name's P.C. Jackson. I'm from the police station. Listen, the ground you're up. being detained. I have I shit to tell do. you certain things. Hurry up and do your job. I want all thing. the paperwork. I'm going to write it. I need to tell you all of these things. You've you messed with the wrong yes, one. Yes, yes, guys. You've messed with the wrong one. We got reports of a male match your description on this road with a knife in his back pocket. Okay. Yes, yes. As a result, you've been detained. All right. You got anything on you? Hurry up. Have you got anything on yeah. that? Of course I don't fucking have anything on me. You got the wrong guy. Why are you busy doing this? Whoever's got a fucking knife to get in the way. Mate, have you got eyeball on us um, regarding this mouth? Fucking morons. Damn, mate, we're just coming out now. Cheers, mate. Nice. You're not going anywhere without giving me the fucking people at Kivo. That's fine. I didn't say it was, did I? Oh, I didn't say it was. You might think this is a random stop. It's not a random stop, okay? Brav, do your job and hurry up, man. Don't chat no shit to me. You've already put me under enough distress, alarm, and harass already, man. Okay. Brother, I'm glad that you came by, bro. I don't know <laughs> what the hell would have happened if you weren't here, bro. You never know with these guys, bro. You right. actually cool. never know. Just ask for your details, you don't have to give them. All right, Brav, do you. your job, Brav. Oh, I'm asking you a question. Do your job. Do, what do you need my deals for? For you, 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 well, you were looking for someone. Me. I said. You were looking for someone. I'm going to request for your details. You don't have to no, give them. No, you're not having okay? my deals. It's up then. to you. Yeah, you're not having okay? them. But I need to put them on a, on a search record. You want a search record, don't you? Sorry. Then just give me the paper okay. that I need to file a complaint for this shit, man. 
I'm sick and tired of this, bro. I'm just a black bread and bush living. I do a good job. Mate, I'll give you the I cab do a number. nice thing. I'll give you the cab number. It's okay. fine. Hurry up. And then you can have a look at it, can't you? And Hurry decide whether up. I whether I did the Stop right thing. Delay my time and go find the criminals that are running around with the knife. How about that? Go get the paperwork. Hurry up. You know you're not in charge, right? Go so I'll decide paperwork. when I get the paperwork and I'll just take my time for one. Then take your time. The longer you take, the more there's a fucking criminal out there with a knife running <laughs> That's around. Done, man. <laughs> oh, he's he's next. Do you see what I'm trying to say now? So it's like, I can't, do you know, I fully understand where that guy's coming from. I ain't done nothing wrong. You pulled me over. You haven't even told me why I'm being pulled over. And this is the reason why I say, get your phone out. Make sure you get their badge number. Make sure you understand the reasons why you're being stopped. He even asked for one of those slips, the stop and search slips. Make sure you get your stop and search slips and make sure they're doing everything collect correctly in what they need to be doing. But also, they're saying that, um, you know, there was someone matching his description in the sense of having a knife and all the rest of it. And do you know what? It was plausible what he was saying, but it's also plausible what the police are saying. Do you know what I mean? That's all we heard. We've heard that this guy's got a knife. And if you haven't got anything to hide, then he could have been a lot more calmer within that situation. The guy even said, show me a little bit of respect. And he was like, shut up. Don't need to show you respect. You're a public servant. You're a public servant. As much as police are a public servant, it is the way that we conduct ourselves, guys. We don't need to keep telling him he's a public servant. He's a human being as well. He's going to get upset. He's going to get He's back up and now all of a sudden it gets to a stage where it's back and forth back and forth back and forth but i do believe that the male could have been a lot more calmer in this situation don't get me wrong i'm not saying that he was even wrong i'm just trying to say he could have been a lot more calmer in this situation and made them look a lot more stupid at the end even when he's saying once you search me you better apologize like the man that you say that you are and everything and i think he was valid in what he was saying it's just the way that he went about it he could have easily been like do you know what officer I'll allow you to do your job. I understand that these kind of things happen and all the rest of it, but I'm just letting you know, one, I'm a working class citizen. Two, like you guys could have at least have conducted yourself instead of jumping out of the van, pulling up halfway, do you know what I mean? Pulling your taser out on me, talking about stand there, stand there. Now, I understand that you said, you know, you're frightened about the knife and gun crime. You're frightened that I could have stabbed you, but I never gave you any plausible doubt on the reasons of me going to stab you or you getting in hurt or you being in danger or anything like that. And I guarantee you at the end, you could have said to him very, very calmly and said, now I expect an apology from you just so you can see me for the person that I am and not for a criminal but I do believe that the police could have handled the situation so much better you don't just pull out tasers on people you don't just tell people to freeze you don't tell people to shut up you don't tell people oh, I'll just take as long as I want and I go back to the car and feel like you can take as long as you want it's a disrespect it was funny enough that a guy pulled over and saw what was happening and ended up filming. So sometimes filming could be a really, really good tool in others, others helping the situation. But that's only if you're helping that person and that person's using that video to be able to use as evidence. Not where you're using videos of crime or people getting hurt or people are suffering in danger. But I just wanted to show this video of stop and search or sometimes possible on how stop and search can go wrong, but also the things that he could have done better within the situation. I do believe that both parties could have done better within that situation and it's just sometimes how you look at things